I'm Zach Dunham, and I'm the Director of Business Development at AIB. Hi, I'm Callan Dunham, and I am the CTO um, at AIB. AIB is a family business. We provide dealers with an enterprise platform of apps that are the single source to streamline uh, each step of the title registration process. Dealership you know, employees, uh, they have less complexity uh, doing their jobs, and also it provides the consumers with the most seamless and stress-free uh, related experience. Data is the center of, of our application. Without streamlined data access and, and integration, there's really no value to our product. Having to, to manually enter data nowadays, something that, that is from kind of like the, the past. And the baseline is, is to have a well-integrated application. A manual import, although it is, it is very functional, uh, actually presents a pretty big security risk for the dealers. This is especially um, more important w in, during the COVID pandemic where the dealer's employees may be uh, remote or, or uh, at home or wherever in, in this world. Specifically with our industry, we, we, we have uh, access to personally identifiable information. Uh, if that file gets compromised, there could be several thousand instances of, of, of a data security breach for a modest, you know, size dealerships. The bulk data extraction, although it is functional, it is a very high security risk compared to uh, a real-time integration that's best of breed security written, you know, with APIs and security standards that are, are very modern and, and, and ultra secure. Having a live API is a must for our integrations to access current data with the DMS. Legacy integrations use files uh, without data, data um, and that leads to more room for errors. Um, accuracy is especially important in the title and registration space. Um, uh, if the dealer is receiving outdated data from uh, legacy integrations, uh, they are not only less efficient uh, having to correct errors, uh, but they are also at higher risk of being penalized with late fees. Real-time in integrations you know, solve that problem significantly. Well, every time that you, you integrate with, with any system, there is a specific API, right? And you have to learn that API, you have to test it, you have to deploy it to, to some, some pilot customers and get some feedback. The whole process is, is fairly involved. The DMS integration was really my job. Not only am I executive at the C, the C level, but I, I do still actually code and provide architecture to our developer team. They looked at me and they're and they like, you, you do it. <laughs> and that would take a long, kind of a long time, depending on how much capacity I had. When we heard that Motive Retail were providing basically one API across several DMSs, I, I think Zach was, he was like, is that going to be good for us? And I was like, yeah, it's yeah. going to be great for us. <laughs> it, it was actually a very great experience. And we have uh, were able to do three, four, five X, you know, multiples uh, of, of uh, you know, efficiency um, with respect to the development and testing uh, just by using one API across all these new DMSs that we have uh, onboarded. The technology is already enabled as we onboard. It's more of a testing than it is new project, new, you know, new, new everything. It's, it's now just kind of copy and paste and then press go. And from Zach's point of view, it allows him to, to access more market with respect to DMSs, we, we haven't specifically, you know, targeted. It's much easier for us to leverage the mixed platform. There was a, a big lag between the time that I could pitch them on the product and then eventually get them onboarded because I would need to get Kellen involved to build out the integration. The timing is, is really important as far as the sales and marketing goes, you know, to be able to, to pitch the product and onboard within a, a reasonable time frame. Essentially, I can pitch the program and I'll have confidence that we'll be able to integrate with, with their DMS. We had what we called our legacy system full of uh, holdout dealers that were on um, some DMSs that we hadn't had a, a, a real-time integration with. Juggling two different systems, well, it was taking a lot of my time and, you know, kind of keeping each one operational. It just so happened that Motive Retail had both of those as, as DMSs. And so I was like, this is going to be great because we can do that, that real-time integration. We can get these, these last remaining folks over to our new platform and turn off our legacy system forever. The dealerships were, were actually very uh, happy to get off the, the old system and onto the new. 
our legacy environment is now completely turned off, which means that my job having to juggle multiple different environments and, and ways and just purely ways of thinking about things uh, has been a lot easier uh, since since that, that sunsets. I'm very happy with the fact that we're able to close that part of our journey and uh, and continue strong uh, forward with uh, our cloud pl platforms, with uh, our integrations and API. As we expand to other states and even throughout Texas, I have a lot more confidence uh, reaching out to dealers that I'm not yet familiar with. Uh, not only because uh, I know there's already a good network of DMSs that are already on the mixed program, but uh, also because Motive is extremely bullish on adding DMSs. Recently, as our technical team has scaled, it's become a little apparent to, to us uh, that the DMS uh, integrations can be a little daunting and kind of a hard learning curve and and really kind of a lot of room for error um, if you're not like an expert at it. When you go to deploy a, a DMS integration, you wanna make sure that it's right, uh, you know, more or less the first time. And, you know, unfortunately I, I, I just decided to just put off DMS integrations because of my workload and that's delayed us to get to, 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 to the market that Zach was talking about. With the advent of the Mix API, uh, we were able to just do it once and then be able to deploy that to three DMSs all at once. That was just unheard of um, <clears throat> in my, my professional experience. Mix provides a lot of value to me as a sales and marketing uh, person. And as Kellen was saying uh, earlier, uh, it makes his job a lot easier from a technical perspective. And uh, when this synergy exists between sales and technology, it just makes things run a lot smoother for our company.